वेलकम यू ऑल इन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स लर्न एंड ग्रो टूगेदर इन द कोर्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मेटालॉजी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज कुलिंग कर्व फॉर कुलिंग कर्व फॉर नंबर वन फॉर प्योर मेटल प्योर मेटल नंबर टू बाइनरी सॉलिड सोल्यूशन बाइनरी सॉलिड सोल्यूशन अलॉय नंबर थ्री बाइनरी यूटेक्टिक अलॉय and last one number 4 of eutectic of eutectic binary alloys okay so one by one we will see these different types of the curve as we know that if we consider this is y axis this will be the x axis on x axis we are getting time and on y axis we are plotting temperature okay now if we see the first curve that is cooling curve for pure metal now in case of cooling curve of pure metal the curve we are getting like this in that this will be a b c and d okay from a to b liquid from b to c liquid plus solid and from c to d we are getting a solid okay now here we have to apply the gibbs phase rule so apply suppose a apply gibbs phase rule phase rule for region ab if we apply gibbs phase rule for region ab then what we can write p plus f is equal to c plus 1 this is the formula of gibbs phase rule and if we consider line ab then in that case the number of phases will be 1 f we have to calculate then c that is this particular curve we are drawing for pure metal it means this particular metal does not consist any type of the impurity okay so that is the pure metal so c will be 1 c will be 1 okay so this value we are putting into this equation that is 1 plus f is equal to 1 plus 1 Okay, so F is equal to two minus one. F is equal to one. Degrees of freedom is equal to one. So this one is nothing but univariant system. We can say this is univariant system. Univariant system. So the meaning of this F is equal to one is that temperature can be varied. without changing liquid phase existing in the system means here only we have to vary temperature only we have to vary temperature okay why we are not varying the concentration because this metal is pure metal so only we have to vary the temperature okay now if we apply the gibbs phase rule for region that is b region bc then p plus f is equal to c plus 1 as this is the gibbs phase rule okay so p is equal to now here two phases we are getting that is liquid phase and solid phase p is equal to 2 f we have to calculate c is equal to 1 because this is the pure metal 
so this value if we are putting into this equation then 2 plus f is equal to 1 plus 1 f is equal to 2 minus 2 f is equal to 0 so this f is equal to 0 that is non variant system non variant system non variant system or we can say that is invariant invariant system so here that f is equal to 0 that indicates the temperature cannot be varied without changing liquid and solid phase existing in the system means here we are not changing the temperature of a system if temperature is increased the metal goes into the liquid state and if temperature is decreased then metal will goes into the solid state okay so hence pure metal solidify at constant temperature pure metal is going to solidify at constant temperature so pure metal solidify at constant temperature that will solidify at constant temperature now next if we apply the Gibbs phase rule if we consider as a C and region CD then P plus F is equal to C plus 1 where P is equal to now here only one phase we are observing that is solid phase F is equal to we have to calculate C is equal to 1 ok so if we put this value 1 plus F is equal to 1 plus 1 F is equal to 1 and that we can say the univariant system this is the univariant system ok univariant system and 1 is indicating what that is similar to whatever we have seen in the first that is the temperature only we have to vary without changing the liquid phase existing in the system ok so this is the cooling curve for pure metal in the next lecture we will see the cooling curve for binary solid solution thank you so much